Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to take a revisit of a popular smartphone we just launched almost six to seven months back. So we're going to talk about the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So Redmi Note 9 Pro Max was announced uh, back in March 2020, but due to the lockdown, the sale was uh, started almost like uh, close to May 2020. So now it's like six months down the lane. Now this device is priced to 16999 initially it was launched at a slightly lesser price segment but then the GST increase came up and then now the device is priced around 16999 so how good is the device for this price segment is it still a worthy con uh, uh, device uh, in the sub 20k price segment or other 17k price segment that's what we are going to talk about in this video. So if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's get started. So first let's look at the design and build quality. Now when uh, the Redmi Note 9 Pro and the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max were launched, now these were uh, some of the uh, devices which had completely different design. You can see that the squarish camera layout kind of new in this price segment. So it definitely did have some kind of difference in terms of the regular layout, the vertical camera layout which we have seen on a lot of smartphones. So this is still a refreshing design. So uh, if you look at the design aspect, this is definitely good uh, still now in uh, almost late 2020. Uh, we feel this is still a good design in terms of the looks. Now it has a glass finishing, the full glass body, uh, the front and back uh, having protection as well. So it is uh, a device which is not a very lightweight design. It definitely is a big device because of the larger display and larger capacity battery but then uh, it's it's not a very bulky device though it is definitely heavy but uh, once you get used to uh, using the device you may not feel that high in terms of uh, heaviness but still um, we feel it's a large device not really for small hands but if you look at the build quality definitely great build quality overall great uh, looks uh, styling is good glass finishing gives a premium uh, finishing altogether so if you look at the design and build quality we still feel it's a, it's a well built phone and definitely looks good uh, in this price segment now next let's move on to the display aspect so if you look at the display this device comes with a full hd resolution display now it's a standard 60 hertz refresh rate now that's one of the things uh, you might have to consider because now most of the devices in uh, uh, the 20k price segment are moving to the 90 hertz refresh rate now at this point uh, 60 hertz does make uh, a sense that's what we are going to analyze now if you look at the display uh, the display quality it's an ips lcd panel it's a pretty good uh, ips lcd panel and there is also gorilla glass protection included now the viewing angles are good the touch response feels smooth now overall uh, the display is in bad for this price segment but then you do miss out on the 90 hertz uh, at this price segment but uh, 90 hertz uh, required at this price segment maybe or may not be that's more or less like a personal choice but ips lcd panel with the 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate does it make much of a sense because if we have seen on our realme devices although there is a bit of smoothness it does not be, make a, a drastic difference unless it is an amoled panel so that way we feel uh, this isn't a bad display overall it feels definitely good and uh, looks pretty good as well now next let's move on to the software now this device has uh, uh, MIUI 12 right now. Now when this device was launched it had the MIUI 11 and Android 10 update. Now we have the MIUI 11 so this device now runs on MIUI 12. Now MIUI 12 brings in a whole lot of features included so it's a, a refreshed UI with a lot of additional features bringing in. Now we have done a detailed video on the MIUI features so you can also have a look at that video. So the UI has been completely revamped especially the control center. Uh, two uh, panel control center, one for the notification toggles, one for the actual notifications. Then settings panel is more or less cleaner. We have the app drawer. So whole lot of changes have come to the MIUI 12 with uh, this update. So it's definitely a refreshed uh, UI and we feel MIUI does uh, provide some really uh, good features. But then uh, you have to leave with the ads. That's one of the downsides of this UI. Uh, the uh, Xiaomi's apps do feature ads on this device. So that's one of the downsides of this device. Next, let's move on to the performance side. So this is uh, powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G Octa-Core processor. We get the 6 GB RAM as well as 8 GB RAM variant. Now the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G is one of the really good uh, processors out there in this price segment. We have seen this on a lot of smartphones after the launch of the Redmi Note 9 Pro and Pro Max. Now it's a tried and tested processor. It's a very capable processor. It does produce some really good uh, overall experience. No lags whatsoever. And the gaming experience is also quite good 
episode we have done a detailed gaming test of this device you can also check out that uh, video to see how the gaming experience has been so overall we feel uh, uh, the redmi note 9 pro max is quite good in terms of performance and uh, in terms of day-to-day -day experience overall uh, app performance gaming test everything it did uh, uh, perform quite well no issues whatsoever so in terms of performance we don't have anything to complain and it's a pretty good uh, chipset out there now next let's talk about the camera so it comes with a 64 megapixel uh, camera it's a, it's a quad camera setup it's a 64 megapixel quad camera we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera then we have a macro sensor and a depth sensor and uh, we also have a punch hole 32 megapixel selfie camera so in terms of camera it's a uh, well equipped camera and we have done a detailed camera review back then and we found that the camera to be pretty good for the price segment uh, it has pretty good daylight conditions uh, the shots have come pretty good although there is a bit of saturation issues here but overall we feel uh, the camera is quite capable uh, of shooting good details offered uh, and a good dynamic range as well the macro camera was particularly impressive the ultra wide angle did quite a decent job and low light experience was uh, definitely above average we feel it could have been slightly better overall but still it's definitely good for the price segment it is being offered and uh, even the selfie experience was also quite okay so overall as a camera uh, device this definitely uh, is one of the good devices uh, with a good camera setup and good uh, ca imaging capabilities in the sub 20 k price segment so again in terms of camera aspect we feel it's quite a capable shooter in the sub 20 k price segment now finally the battery life so this device comes with a 50 20 mAh capacity battery with 33 watt fast charging now the 33 watt fast charging is one of the highlights of this device it can charge the device in a pretty good uh, time and the battery performance is something stellar on this device when we did testing we could get almost like uh, uh, close to 9 to 10 hours of screen on time on this device which is really stellar battery performance on this device again battery performance depends uh, person to person the app you use and uh, what all our apps are running in the background so a lot of things uh, actually contribute to the battery performance but in our testing we got around 9 to 10 hours of screen on time which is really impressive for this device so that is the detailed aspects of uh, the redmi note 9 pro max so should you buy it late 2020 or at uh, december 2020 should you buy this device so we feel uh, the redmi note 9 pro max is still a capable device on multiple counts one is the design and build quality is really good if you and if you look at the build quality it has actually withstood all the uh, testing we did in the last six months multiple times uh, there's no scratches on the back panel it's fairly good we didn't use a case actually and there is a default screen guard also included so overall if you look at uh, the build quality is quite good the display is kind of okay uh, we don't get 90 hertz but still it's a kind of uh, okay -ish display software has been updated to miui 12 again you get the latest version then uh, performance is really good for this price segment cameras are kind of acceptable and battery life is stellar so at 16 triple we feel it still got some uh, energy to be one of the really good uh, devices in the sub 20k price segment even late 2020 so that is the detailed aspects of uh, the redmi note 9 pro max so if you plan to buy a device in the sub 17k price segment we still uh, recommend this device because it's a really good all-rounder in this price segment so that is the detailed aspects hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day.